Hello and welcome to your online music class. Today you will need your drums, so pause this video if you need to, grab it and meet me back here. When you have your drum, make sure that it is between your knees like this so that your hands are free. Wave both of them at me like this. Raise your right hand, raise your left hand, raise both of them. And we are going to get started with let's all play our, let's all play our drums, play our drums, play our drums. Remember to alternate hands. Let's all play our drums, let's all play our drums, let's all play our, let's all play our, let's all play our, let's all play our, play our, play our, play our, let's all play our, play our, play our, play our, let's all play our. Let's all play our. Oop, got a little funky there. Let's all play our. Let's all play our. Let's all play our. Play our. Play our. Play our. Let's all play our. All right. So today we are going to spend about ten minutes working on our drumming and reviewing our chant. So boo hey. Um. So we will have a special guest helping us out with that in a little bit. We will do about 10 minutes of our recorded lesson here, and then I will send you to work on your digital drumming circle project. So I'll give you some more information on that a little bit later. For now, please echo me. So we are going to have a metronome set at 80 beats per minute here. So we can count this with one, two, three, four, one two, three, four, and that is our tempo. Our tempo is 80 beats per minute or BPM. And I am going to play two beats and then you are going to echo those two beats. So if I play one, two, you echo with one, two. So it sounds like this, one, two, one, two. Nothing new, just setting the stage to do this with the metronome, which we haven't done before. So, gotta roll up those sleeves, and here we go. Two beat echoes. more. Great. So we've done echoes. Now I'm going to slow us down just a little bit so we have a bit more time to think. We're going to jump down to 60 beats per minute. Same thing where we we're taking bars of four. One, two, three, four. I will play one and two. You will not echo me on three and four, but rather respond with your own thing. Create your own response, your own echo. So 60 beats per minute sounds like this. Let's listen and then we'll count. Ready, count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Call, response. So here we go. Oops, I messed up right away. I tried to play three beats and that's just not what I said. So one, two, here we go. Again, you aren't echoing me, you are creating something different as a call and response. So here we go. One more. Cool. 
Now we're going to jump back up to 80 beats per minute now that we've got it, gotten into a pattern of one, two, three, four, and we can kind of think a bit more quickly in a quicker tempo. So we're jumping back up to 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, call, response, here we go. Right, nice work. As we get more comfortable with that, we can build up our vocabulary of drum patterns that we can go to. Right now, you might be working with some ta's, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti's, and ti, ti, ta. You might be working with some limited vocabulary, but something that we can do when we practice and keep doing this is we're building up our vocabulary of patterns that we can play. Um, through echoing, through exploring, through listening to music. So that's something that we will continue to work on. All right, we are going to do a little bit of a throwback back to Tsobuhe, the chant um, from Ghana that I shared with you a few weeks ago. So as a reminder, Tsobuya, no, Tsobuhe, sorry. Tsobuhe is a chant that uh, one would hear in Ghana at a football game or a, a sporting event, it's usually done when there are large groups of people uh, excited and energetic together. So concerts or, or usually sporting events. We are learning it because there's some cool rhythmic stuff. Today I have a special treat for you. Somewhere in this apartment, you won't be able to see him, but you will be able to hear him. Mr. Callan will be doing your part. Hey! and I will be drumming. So, just to make it a little bit more fun, lesson time today I want you to finish up any work for the drum digital drum circle project so I have gone through seesaw and I have given every single one of you some individual feedback so just a reminder that the end goal of this project is to have a video that compiles or adds together all of the videos that you've created the only way that this works is if each video is done in a specific way. 
especially related to the speed or the tempo. So most of the feedback that I've given has to do with the tempo or the number you've selected as your beats per minute BPM. Make sure that it is what? 80 beats per minute. Um, and then there are some other feedback uh, items that I've given related to how you're holding the drum, how you're playing the drum, or the pattern you've created. The best video will be one that I can see your face and your drum, including your hands, um, and I can hear you clearly. I can hear the metronome, but the metronome isn't like blaringly loud, but I can hear that you've selected a metronome at the speed or tempo of 80 beats per minute. And the best video will also have a, be long enough that it's usable, so between 30 seconds and one minute. If you have any questions related to the feedback that I've given you, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I think everything should be pretty clear. All you need to do is go in to Seesaw. Um, if I've sent your video back, um, you will need to redo it. I've tried to be very clear as far as who needs to redo in the comments that I've given. And um, yeah, use this time to finish up, all right, so that we can keep moving and we can get to new stuff during our next session. All right, good work today and happy drumming. Bye.